Hi everyone, this is MJ Kim. Um, I started using my uh, um, Macintosh uh, since uh, 1986. At the time, was um, uh, the all-in-one and the computers so with a metal, 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 small metal keyboard, and then it connect with the image writer. My mom used to uh, use that computer for uh, called uh, translation professional services. Uh, so you know actually I started using them when I was grade 4 and then I'm still using my Mac but I cannot afford to buy the 7.1 world is uh, you know exp one of the expensive computer in the world uh, with a 7.1 it's a 70,000 like uh, you can buy the BMW brand new SUV with uh, that money and then I'm pretty sure that uh, if you purchase the 70,000 won't invest on that and then probably you should be good for like tw at least the one decade uh, 10 years it should be good so but you are investing 6,000 every year and then uh, should be your return on investment unless the, your uh, ex uh, crazy billionaire uh, millionaire billionaire and then uh, I can afford to buy it uh, when I uh, purchased the Mac, iMac, uh, that time was uh, its highest version is a 21 inches, um, 21 inches Mac G5. Uh, that's around the 20, 2500. Uh, when you go to the Apple stores or like a, um, like a so source and <coughs> the Radio Shack, uh, I'm not sure the, if I can see that the Radio Shack. I don't think the Radio Shack is not existed anymore anyway so you know the uh, all the apple stores and you can uh, see all the nice uh, white and the uh, iMac and uh, I also see the i the MacBook uh, uh, um, uh, Mac Pro and that is around 7500 around that so if you are investing that money saving some money you can buy it but um uh, unfortunately, the seven comma one is the highest one, high end, and then seventy thousand is too much. And even though it's a uh, uh, just basic, uh, uh, you know, it's a uh, to upgrade to get it, and it's it's too much expensive. So uh, compared to that, um, there is a reason to buy old Mac Pro. Uh, tuning up the when you buy a uh, um just case. And just basic things and you have uh, uh, tons of um, you know things to upgrade so next so um, just uh, mention to you guys uh, for my history is uh, I'm starting using Macintosh in 1988 so right now is I'm using refurbished by myself and Mac Pro 5.1 and that's a single like a CPU and then I'm planning to buy the double CPU but it cost uh, $1,500 with a 128 GB Mac so this is a history of a Mac uh, Pro 1 to 1 comma 1 to 5 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 uh, is a uh, 2006 it's only support Mac OS 10.7 uh, the Lion and then 2012 one is um, you know if you upgrade the graphic card Sapphire is uh, RX 580 and then you could uh, upgrade to Mojave uh, I'm not sure that I didn't try the Catalina but uh, after I get the uh, RX uh, 580 and I will let you know uh, there is an eBay site and you know the uh, $33,700 um, and that's Mac Pro 2019 7.1 that's a 28 cores and 2.5 gigahertz 1.5 terabyte is uh, pretty much the you know 10,000 discount uh, because those are you are buying the used one. Um, the Mac Pro 7.1. <coughs> I'm leaving the Boulder City, uh, uh, Windsor, Ontario, and Leamington, Ontario. So um, I'm have a two comparison between you buy um, customize your Mac Pro. Uh, that's 68,000 Canadian dollars. And then the, it's a, with the same spec, it's a fifty-two thousand um, American dollars. So considering uh, thirteen percent the uh, uh, HST in Canada, and then the six six around six percent in Michigan tax, and then it's, this uh, price are pretty much same uh, considering the currency. 
so um, let me uh, show the list of the macOS code name. Uh, Mac OS uh, current version is uh, 10.15 Catalina. Uh, that is uh, currently run with uh, um, uh, 7.1, and then all the MacBook Pros, iMacs, and I'm using uh, uh, Mac Mini. That's uh, late uh, 2012. It's still working with the Catalina. 16 gigabyte is a maximum upgrade, uh, but um, I'm planning to uh, replace to SSD so I can boost it up the, the speed. Uh, Mac OS 14, 1014 Mojave, uh, that is um, uh, start um, on the market in 18. Uh, graphic card upgrade ATI Radeon RX 580, 8 GB. Uh, we could upgrade to Mojave, uh, possibly the Catalina with patch. Uh, so 1013 is a high Sierra. Mac 4.1, 5.1, any kind of the CPU tray styles, and you could upgrade up to High Sierra. But if you uh, change to um, uh, your the G GPU, you know, like a graphic card, and you could upgrade to Mojave. Um, 1012 Sierra and 1011 is the Air Capitan. So if you have a Mac uh, Pro 1.1 to 3.1, you could um, upgrade to the Air Capitan. I try to do with the Sierra and High Sierra uh, more up, up, upper version and then it's hard to do it but the 3.1 I was able to uh, install the High Sierra but um, uh, I didn't try the RX the Radeon so probably I could see it if I can upgrade more than that or not. So currently High Sierra and Mojave and Carolina is all uh, support version. High Sierra is uh, you know last ending is a November 30th this year, so um, many uh, users who use the uh, High Sierra and uh, has has to upgrade to Mojave probably if the hardware does not support and then maybe you might gonna upgrade and do some flashing and firmware updates things like that. Um, basically, uh, uh, 10.7 Lion. You know, if you have a Mac Pro 1.1 or 2.1. It's only installed to Lion. The thing is, uh, if you try to the restore the Lion or reinstall it, and then uh, you, um, there is a um, next step to go into uh, Mac App Store. So you type in uh, username and password. Uh, it that it didn't it didn't go through to the next step. So basically, uh, if you want to restore your um, um, the Mac. Uh, that which is uh, not sup unsupported and then uh, there are the website um, there are website that um, just a uh, website that you can go into uh, uh, purchase the uh, in a hard disk uh, that hard disk um, it supports um, um, the hard disk supports the um, you know the reinstallation because uh, it's plug and play. Uh, my project is uh, as you can see, um, one command is a uh, uh, like uh, Mac OS ten uh, seven five is a Lion, and then first time I bought it with around uh, 200, 300 bucks. Uh, 2.66 gigahertz and dual core, uh, like a uh, dual processor. Basically, you have quad core, and memory is only eight gigabyte. So with uh, the 512, um, you know the ATI just basic board. You know when I try to, uh, you know watch the YouTube, it didn't work uh, because uh, uh, your browser didn't support so that far. But there are lots of uh, security issues that you cannot. Um, enjoy your Mac OS with uh, those uh, basic things so I decide to upgrade to memory 8 gb to 32 GB and also I upgrade to the Radeon 5770 those are 1 GB those are the much more better graphic so do the all the formula updated and uh, EFI the boot sector the editings I was able to install Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro I DVD Microsoft Office old version, not the new version, 
because current one is uh, app stores you can uh, not download anything so basic support for this machine is uh, 10.7.5 but I was able to uh, you know update it to the OS X Air Capitan 10 11.6 uh, for the uh, parallel desktops mm, actually uh, I'm using version 9 right now is a uh, there is a version 15 but with the uh, version 9 and the uh, Ubuntu 13 and Windows 7 those kind of uh, um, you know virtual motion can be run uh, next one is uh, I bought the 2.1 the original came with the OSLX uh, Capitan and I upgrade that one so it's um, uh, 8 gigabyte to 32 gigabyte RAM it's also the heat sinks and those are like a memory board on that for the two so you can upgrade up to the 32 gigabyte 4 times 8 is 32 and then I um, actually um, you know the replace the 500 gigabyte SSD so it's running very fast and it's uh, good for video and music editing and YouTube editing and internet surfing and basic support is a uh, 10.7.5 Mac OS Lion but you can go up to High Sierra the project 3 is um, I'm that's for just keep to for myself and also I bought um, Apple the cinema display with uh, the sound speakers and like eyesight uh, like the camera and then if you see the left side those are Apple and 24 inches the right side is um, LED um, like Acer 27 inches so I'm using dual monitor like that way uh, the like a uh, uh, good thing is for the 4.1 5.1 they are using the CPU board so you know the um, if I upgrade the CPU from 1.1 uh, to 3.1 actually there is a two the big uh, you know the cooler and then you are you need to use the uh, long T shape um, you know the screwdriver actually this one doesn't need to into it just uh, slide out uh, from your bay and then you are able to upgrade um, your CPU also that that T shape uh, you know. <coughs> uh, T-shape um, uh, the drivers uh, can be uh, should be used for you know taking out the uh, you know the heat heating heat sink coolers and also um, this one is uh, uh, High Sierra Mojave and then I'm doing the Carolina project and actually uh, graphical needs to be upgraded to you know um, 580 those are high end uh, graphical 8 gigabyte. Uh, my project 4 is uh, I'm using Mac, Apple Mac Pro 3.1, 3.1, and I did a firmware update, and then that uh, comes with a 2.8 gigahertz um, quad core, so uh, there is a dual CPU, so it's a 8 core Intel Xeon processor, SSD is a Mac OS High Sierra, hard disk is uh, I installed the uh, Microsoft Windows 10 Pro, and then it also has a 32 gigabyte Mac. And virtual PC with a parallel desktop, I was able to install the Ubuntu 20.04, the the newest version, and Windows Server just from you know just study with it, so I install it, and also it can hook it up with a Logic Pro, and then you can buy a Nectar uh, like a MIDI Siege. So graphical upgrade is um, you know if you buy from e uh, Amazon, eBay. Um, just the basic things for PC and then that's $293 uh, Canadian dollars so equivalent to 220 US uh, basically you will need uh, uh, 8 pin uh, from 8 pin from uh, the graphic card and the two uh, dual the 6 pin so that hook it up into the your Mac board but if you using that then you are able to go into the you know the menu but however so the chim sound or like um you know the mac put menu uh, will not exist so actually you are flashing those parts so make sure that you can use the um from the mac environment so mac pro 7,1 vs mac pro 1,1 to 5,1 you can customize it most likely the people use it for graphics 
like a video editing Final Cut Pro, YouTubers, IDVD, Adobe package, and then some user for like a MIDI orchestra is a Logic Pro, and so using server because of it supports a 12 core, a 3.24. Uh, VMware is Oracle VirtualBox Parallel Desktop. You can run the other software from your current Mac uh, OS uh, based on the user's need and the customer's need. Uh, it, can, uh, can, it can be customized. So the, to doing the, this four project, I was able to you know the success many things. So basically, I can support you guys that if you want to get support, and then I willing to do that. So. Uh, to, to spend a lot of time for study, research, and then just uh, troubleshooting uh, is a lot of time. So if I can save your time and money, and then I would like to help you out. And then the macro, one comma one to five comma one is very expendable, and then you can upgrade it. The, unfortunately, Mac comma uh, Mac uh, six comma one, uh, it looks like a trash can. And then cylinders, uh, it doesn't support too much. So uh, I see that many people have a lot of like uh, the you know cables and um, sync the uh, USBs and like a Thunderbolt or whatever. And it is it's too much. It's hard to organize it. So it's not much expandable for six comma one. The used uh, used one price is around the two grand uh, the US. Uh, so if you using Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, and then they are using the eGPU to enhance the you know graphic card and other dual and triple the monitors, and then I recommend the Asus XG Station Pro Thunderbolt 3 USB 3.1, and then the the high end is the Asus Log XG Station 2.2, a Thunderbolt 3 USB 3.0 external graphic card. Up. So that is uh, between. 500 to 7 uh, 800 and then it's worth to buy it, uh, if you only use the uh, MacBook Pro or like a MacBook Air uh, but most likely it fit with a MacBook Pro so as I can as you can see uh, from eBay and uh, this is the uh, highest uh, upgrade uh, Mac Pro 5.1 upgrade to CPU tray so you, you, you might have a single the CPU tray and take him out and then uh, return or uh, send it to the these guys or like uh, you can sell it on on the market and then probably you can get your old one is a 250 bucks to 300 you can uh, sell it and also you can buy this one the uh, 1279.89 which equivalent to 16 1700 Canadian dollars uh, these are high end I'm pretty sure that uh, to spend this money uh, for like four, three, four years, then you should be good to go. Um, if you want to get service by me, and then I can do online and offline support, uh, unless the, I have to go uh, too far away, most likely uh, support by the online. And um, you know, I can give you guys an advice. So I do a Mac PC upgrade, repair, restore, cloud backup, and then all the iPhone. Uh, the iPad, those are the screen, uh, you know, like a repair, the home automation, uh, troubleshooting, server setup, hardware and software repairs uh, by Mac uh, with uh, each version, uh, recommendations and open to Linux, Windows 10, Windows 2019 server, Mac OS Catalina, legacy OS and emulators, so I can enjoy with you guys. Thank you very much for watching my video.